Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I have a mess here today um, to answer a question that Chris Capoon put in a comment. Um, I mentioned that the timing of the tail pieces is different, so they won't work. And, and a master lock won't work on an American lock actuator, and an American core will not work on a master lock actuator. I didn't say that. They actually will, but because they're timed differently, it would change the functionality. And I was correct half correct on that, uh, maybe three-fourths correct. So first of all, I had to dig out the keys. I just I never have the keys out because I don't use them as locks. I use them to pick, so I, I don't need the keys, so they're always stashed away. But another thing is, this is an American lock follower that I got. This end follows this end. I think it'll follow on um, American lock door locks, but what I also use it for is an actuator tool that that piece will actually work the actuator and it really helps on the 747 because you have to turn it and get it timed to get it in there you actually have to time the actuator in there it's a pain in the butt um, this one won't work because it's too big but some some followers may have that that little third moon shape on them and may work as an actuator tool for you just depends on what follower you have all right, they put a lot of grease on these uh, cores and these uh, magnetation um, branded, not branded, but labeled locks that I got. So there's grease everywhere. All right, so first differences in the two. There's This one's a K, this one's an A stamped in it. There's a slight difference in the size of the nubs, but the way the nubs are timed, the edge that the key hits, they're both the same. So they you could interchange them with no problem. It's just the nubs are different sizes. Um, now, when you one thing, if you lock your American lock, be careful. If you accidentally push down on this and you turn it over, some of them the actuator will fall out really easy. Some of them are greased or have a little more friction and they won't fall out. You actually have to tap them. But I have done that. I have grabbed it and bumped this, and the actuator falls out. So be careful with that. So, it, we, I talked about this in my other video, but these are timed differently. So, the actuator block that gets engaged on the master lock co actuator is on the bottom right, and on the American, it's on the bottom left. So, my statement was that if I, I have to turn it differently in order for it to engage the actuator, which is true-ish on both. Chris wondered about the Bibles being different heights. These are the same same cutouts on both. They're both 1,100 bodies. So the Bibles fit. There's a notch for the American one that's longer. And then the Master Lock one just never reaches up in, uh, as far into that notch. So that doesn't really play into anything. It's the actuator position. So on both of these, there's space across the top, on the top edge for... Um, the tail piece to fit into. So the master lock will seat on both of these because the space is on the top. Now to unlock it, if I turn it to where it would normally unlock, it doesn't, it's not even engaged the actuator yet. I have to turn it to like 135 degrees to get it to touch the actuator in the body. So this would prevent the, the bottom plate would prevent the key from working because it would hit that those nubs and it wouldn't be able to turn far enough if I turn it all the way to almost 180 degrees it'll actually work the actuator and it'll go back and, and you know to unlock it or to remove the key out of the fully uh, put it back to its starting position so you could cut these nubs you could make it work but there's gonna be a problem um, if, well, the actuator would stop it, so uh, it shouldn't have this problem. But once you turn it 180 degrees, the key pins can fall into these holes. And then on the master lock core, this last pin or whatever, if I turn it, I would have trouble. I can't go 180 degrees. It won't let me. Um, because the top pins fall into the channel, and one of those top pins... 
uh, is stopping it from being able to rotate all the way over. So to get it to, so yeah, it, you, you could end up with quite a few issues there if you're not careful with it. It doesn't actually go to 180 degrees. The actuator stops it. So it wouldn't actually go to 180 degrees, but it could still potentially cause problems. Either way, it's not made to work that way. You, to unlock it, you'd have to go 180 degrees. Now the American into the um, master lock actuator. So the block on this one is in the bottom right-hand corner. On this one, the, the tailpiece is in the bottom right-hand corner. It'll never seat. In order to get it to seat, I actually have to unlock it all the way to 180 degrees. And here, I, I need to make sure that the key pins don't drop in. So I turn it over and I keep turning. I get to 270 degrees and now I should be engaging the actuator, but I'm not. It stopped. It's stuck on something. So let's talk about that. that. This is why an American lock will not work on a master lock actuator. So not only are, are they in a different position, but they're also a different size. This one is a little bit smaller than this one as far as how tall it is. And um, because it doesn't, it, it, it's not as much of a circle. It actually stops further back. So you'd have to, if you, you'd have to cut like, you know, some of it off to make them the same size. You have to shave it down. So they're actually a different size and they're in a different position. So this is out of this other one. This is a master lock actuator. And if we look at it, when it sits here, everything aligns up and this piece goes behind that piece of metal. This piece of metal is stopping the um, actuator block from going too far backwards. It's timed so that when it locks, it stops right here. So it can't shift, it can't keep unwinding. Um, and, and that keeps it timed and everything properly. Well, because this is smaller, it fits behind there. American locks, they solved it a little bit different because on the American lock, this this piece, that's the stopper, is actually a little bit shorter. And what they did was they cut this shoulder out so that it gets by that, that piece of metal. So it steps down. There's a little uh, cut there. Well, because that piece is longer on the master locks core when it gets there you can actually see i've i kind of hammered it with the key a little bit but that piece of metal in order to get this to work you'd have to cut that shoulder down a little bit a little bit deeper so that the american lock one would work but even then you'd have to turn the key all the way to 270 degrees and then another 90 degrees almost back to the one full rotation to get it to unlock or to get it to, uh, yeah, to get the shackle to pop open. So it would cause all kinds of problems with it. Not to mention you'd have to go past the, the 180 degree point. So you'd have to worry about the key pins falling through those holes. So all kinds of issues there that you would run into trying to switch the two with the different actuators. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. Chris, I hope that's a good enough answer for you. If you got another question, let me know. I'll keep it all apart for a little while <laughs> until you ask again. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.